head gaskets. We all know them, we all blow them. But the question I have here today is just how necessary are they? So we're gonna do an experiment today. This engine right here, this is the one that I freed up from being stuck. Oh, it's, oh, it's, look at that, still turning just fine. Uh, we're gonna take the head off. I'm gonna take the head gasket out and put the head back on, see if it'll still run. And if so, will it stay running? So I think there shouldn't be much of an issue because if I can get any of the residue and stuff off of the head surface there, it should kind of-ish seal. My only concern really is if the valves have enough clearance in between the piston to not get in a fuckery with it. Which, if it does, well, there's something we can do about that. But for now, let's get this torn apart. Alright, now I'm really curious to see just how horrible this cylinder looks. Because in case you forgot, when I first got this engine running, I didn't even bother cleaning all the rusty PB blaster out of the cylinder before I slapped the head back on and sent it. So, well, let's see what this looks like. Come on. Get the fuck get off. Come on, stupid air shroud. There you go. Let's have a look. Well, admittedly, I thought that was going to be worse. Huh, that actually cleaned up pretty good by itself. Well, that's disappointing. I was expecting to see all kinds of scores and garbage, but oh well, let's get down to business. Head gasket, delete, and then it's already good flat enough. We can just leave that pine needle there, I'm sure that's fine, and just put it right back on. We have to relash the valves, but I'll just take a second. bit of water in that oil. You don't need to worry about that. We'll just put the valve cover on. All right, let's try again. But hey, it runs. It sounds quite a bit different with the extra compression for the head being closer to the piston. Let's go again, see if it keeps running. impressive not only does that run perfectly but it sounds just that much throatier with with that much extra compression I don't even see any signs of it of it leaking on the deck ah, so look at that the answer to the question is no on these small engines you do not need a head gasket I'll keep running it for a little longer make sure it stays this way but it's looking like we've solved our question all right, I got the carburetor back on. I put a slightly bigger jet in it. It's still not exactly right, but it's slightly better than it was before. So let's just run the piss out of this thing, see if it keeps going.
<laughs> that's got a bit of blow by. I definitely see signs of that leaking on the head right there. Starting to backfire a bit. I wonder if it's just getting hot and it's starting to detonate with the extra compression. Ah, oh, she's still living though. We still got compression. But yeah, it's definitely starting to leak right there. Blowing out the side of the head right there. Come on, focus where you need you. Yeah, that little streak oil right there. It was blowing some shit. But hey, it's still running. <laughs> See if it'll still go. We're not done yet. So let's let it cool down now. Take the head back off and see if and see where it was leaking, if it was, which well it was, but see how bad it was. Interesting. That ran longer than I thought it was gonna. Wait, check this out. Starting to take this apart, and you know, reckon there might be a little bit of water in the oil blowing out of the breather. But you know, we're not worried about that or anything. Okay, so I know why the thing was running so bad before. This gasket was upside down. This little hole here, that's the suction for the low speed jet, was over here where it's doing nothing. I reckon that'll do it. Alright, let's see. Come on, get the... Ugh. Get out of there. Okay, so it was definitely leaking up there. That's for sure. I see leak here and here, but it doesn't seem to have leaked down here. So it was up here, it was definitely leaking a little bit, but overall, I'd call that a resounding success. Hey, look at that. When you put the gasket on the correct way, the engine runs way better. check that out 90 psi compression still it's not even losing any compression without a head gasket nice